Hi, I'm Robin Stevens, author of The Murdermost Unladylike Mysteries, and I'm here with Katie Leung, who voices Hazel in the audiobooks. We're here at Puffin HQ because Katie is recording the new book in the series, A Spoonful of Murder. In this book, Hazel and Daisy travel to Hazel's beautiful family estate in Hong Kong. But of course, because danger follows the girls everywhere they go, there is suddenly a murder and a kidnapping and the girls have to solve the case. But this time, Hazel herself is a suspect. Katie, have you found recording A Spoonful of Murder different to recording the earlier books in the series? Um, yes, A Spoonful of Murder has been slightly different from the other ones. Um, just because I, I really felt like I could uh, relate to Hazel in this. Um, the way that, you know, she has to really decide between between solving the murder and and trying not trying to separate that from from her family, um, not that I've been in that situation. <laughs> Hopefully not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of being like a, a dutiful daughter yeah. and and always feeling like your parents are, are right in, in everything that they they have to advise you on and and being there and also having your own opinions and making up your own mind what what you think is right and and that kind of, that challenge um, really resonated with me when I read it. Um, and also, of course, uh, because I'd just come back from Hong Kong, because <laughs> um, I was working there, and you know, the way that you described Hong Kong in, in the book was just uh, amazing, because you really captured it beautifully, what, what Hong Kong's yeah. like. And even though this was, you know, 100 years ago, yeah. it's, it, goes to show that Hong Kong hasn't really changed in a way. No, it hasn't. I mean, like a lot of the lot of the architecture has changed. That yeah. was I went to Hong Kong and I had to look really hard for anything that was still there oh, from the 1930s. Yeah. Um, my friend gave me a list of eight buildings <laughs> that yeah, were from yeah, the 1930s. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping, yeah, that the sort of the way it, it feels is yeah, is the same. absolutely. The the culture, the the hustle and bustle, yeah. the smells. You know, they're all still there um, and. Yeah, I just, I, I felt like I was there again when I was reading them. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you prepare for a day like today when you're going to be recording the whole day? Um, I try not to think about it too much <laughs> or I'll stress myself out. Um, I try to keep hydrated. Um, and because you are in, you know, quite a small booth, a little room, um, you know, to stop yourself from going a bit insane, yeah. I think you just have to make sure you're in quite a calm yeah. place. Because it is, it is a tiny little room, isn't it? With just just the sort of um, mic and you and yeah, the story. Yeah, and the headphones. Yeah. And, and you, you know, you're listening to your own voice, um, which sometimes is a bit cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Words not making sense. Yeah, yeah, but with the help of um, Roy, it's it's a lot easier. And I do, I do, I really enjoy it. You know, being able to put my feet up. Yeah. And it's different, you know, when I don't have to go into makeup and costume <laughs> yeah. and stuff. So there is there's a lot of freedom as well. And finally, what was your favourite book when you were a child? Um, I remember reading The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl yes. um, in primary two. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, 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 I didn't read it. I remember, you know, we, we yeah. all sat on the floor as the teacher read it to us. and. I just I remember that story very vividly to this day. No, I, I love Roald Dahl too. It's great. My favourite is Fantastic Mr. Fox, and I can sort of oh, cite right. all the rhymes from okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made an impression. Mm. He's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Katie, and thank you for reading my book so beautifully. And A Spoonful of Murder is out now. Here's a brief audio clip of her reading from it. So if you didn't do it, which you did not, what does this mean? Someone wants it to look like I did, I said. Exactly, cried Daisy. Someone who was at the party last night helped the lift operator plan and carry out the murder and the kidnap. And that someone, well, they're trying to frame you. <laughs>